In this video, we will go through the various elements of FaceCode interface that a panel member would see. If you have an instant interview link, all you need is a browser and you are good to go. By clicking on the link and with any browser, Firefox, Chrome, Mozilla, Safari, the system will enable the interview for you. It does not require any software to be installed. The first thing FaceCode does is check for compatibility. If your system is compatible, you just have to click on join interview and the session will be started. This is the admin interface. You can expand or minimize the video and also see the internet connectivity status. This is the default scratch pad where you can select any language and start typing. You can ask the candidate a question verbally or if you want to add a coding question, you can just click on add icon. By clicking on the add a question button, you can create your own question or you can choose the question from the library. You can choose which library you want to choose the question from, choose the question type and the difficulty level. Based on this, you can select a particular question and add it to the interview. Once that question is added, as a panelist, you can see this in the interview and ask the candidate to write the requested code. Once the candidate has written the code, you can ask them to provide an input or you can provide an input and run the code against that particular input. With this two-way editor, both the candidate and the panelist can collaboratively work on a piece of code. Let's say a candidate has gone through the first round of screening through a coding test and you are conducting the second round on face code. In this scenario, you can also import that question that were given to the candidate in the first round along with a piece of code written by the candidate and can continue the discussion around that. While you conduct this discussion, if you want the candidate to draw something, you can move to the diagram board. The diagram board within face code has different symbols using which the candidate can draw an architecture diagram. Further, as an interview happens, if you want the candidate to share their screen, you have an option to request share screen. You can also maintain your notes. These notes are only visible to you and not to any other panel member. This allows you to have all points of feedback in a single place. While you conduct an interview, you can rate the candidate by going to the score parameters. You can have a chat feature where you can have a public chat which is visible to both the candidate and the panels or you can move to the interviewer chat where you can communicate with the other panel members. In the people list, you can see who all have joined the interview. If you want to invite somebody at the last minute, you can just click on invite option. Lastly, if you have added any personal information of the candidate, you can see that information from the more option. During the interview, if a candidate switches tabs, you will be notified of it here. After which you could verbally request the candidate not to make any tab switches. Once the interview is over and you have submitted the rating, you can end the interview at which point the session concludes and a detailed report is generated.